Did you know your car can be affected by a heat wave too? Here are some tips to help make sure you and your vehicle are prepared to handle periods of excessive temperatures. Extreme heat, along with vibrations, can cause an internal breakdown of battery cells, so make sure your battery is securely mounted year-round. Hotter temperatures also evaporate battery fluid more quickly, so check your battery for corrosion. Your alternator replenishes your battery as you drive. Excessive heat and heavy usage of air conditioning can push the alternator to the max, so pay attention to the battery warning light in your dashboard. If it doesn't disappear after the engine starts, have your vehicle tested. Engines work overtime when it's hot out, so it's important to maintain your vehicle's cooling system, periodically flushing and replacing the coolant. And oil keeps your engine working properly by fighting friction and excessive wear, so check and change your oil as a part of your regularly scheduled car maintenance. Refer to your owner's manual for proper coolant and oil care instructions. On a hot day, asphalt temperatures can reach up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Driving on underinflated tires on such hot roads can raise your risk of a blowout because of increased friction and overheating. Check your tire pressure frequently. It should be measured when the tires are cold or have been parked for at least one hour in the shade. Fill your tires to the level recommended in your owner's manual or is listed on the tire placard, which is located on the driver's side door jamb. To keep the interior of your car cooler, park your vehicle in the shade or use sunshades to cover your front and rear windows. You'll be glad you did. Leave your windows open a tiny bit when parked to give hot air an escape route. You can purchase window vent visors that will help keep your car cool and safe from vandals. And never leave children or pets unattended in a hot car. On an 85 degree day, the temperature inside a car can reach over 100 degrees in just 10 minutes. If you get into a steaming hot car, turn on the air conditioning as soon as the vehicle starts. Use a fresh air setting, not recirculate and adjust the vents so air comes through the lower openings and pushes the hot air out from the bottom of the vehicle. Rolling down your windows helps too, but once the hot air escapes and the car cools down some, close your windows and open all vents. Whether it's a road trip or a short drive, it's important to take along plenty of food and fluids and drink water even if you don't feel thirsty. So please remember, if you're driving in a heat wave, check your battery, heed warning lights, check your oil and coolant regularly, properly inflate your tires and stay hydrated. Before you head out on the road, always check the forecast for any advisories and avoid driving during the mid-afternoon when temperatures reach their peak. Stay safe, and for more extreme weather driving tips, watch the next video.